At this level, the swimmer should begin practicing sculling. Sculling is when you catch and control the water in the pushing phase and it is essential to all strokes. It is a movement of palms and forearms that creates propulsion. Sculling should not be done from the shoulders, otherwise it becomes more of a stroke. To practice a skill, imagine rolling your hand over a tennis ball to the side then back again, but not losing control. The direction you travel will depend on whether your fingers are directed down or up, and therefore where your palms face. Have a go at some of these drills, either with light kicks or with a leg float or pull boy. Spreading water is what a swimmer does to keep their head above the surface in a vertical position. The arms can either scull or stroke the water, and there are a few ways to kick underwater with some ways more efficient than others. Here our swimmer stays afloat with breaststroke kicks. Notice the increased effort needed when she takes her arms out of the water. With breaststroke kicks there is also a recovery phase, causing the body to sink momentarily. This results in a bobbing effect. Flutter kicks are even harder to use as the surface area of downward pressure is extremely small. Therefore, if only using the legs, the swimmer must kick hard. The egg beater is the most efficient as it gives continuous downward pressure. It is essentially alternating breaststroke kicks. <laughs> 